Hey, Wayne here, and today I'm going to be reviewing another bike from Actbest. You may remember this one recently I reviewed as Actbest Pioneer, but today I'm going to review this bike from Actbest called Z Cool, and I believe it gets its name from that Z frame shape. It's a seven speed e bike with a 750 watt motor, it's foldable, and has a rear suspension. So front and rear suspension on this bike. We're gonna check it out right now. <laughs> oh, I knew it was gonna happen eventually. So the Z-Cool e-bike is supposed to be a class three e-bike that can reach a speed, a top speed of 28 miles per hour. That's gonna depend on a few things like uh, if you have a full charge or not, your weight, all that kind of good stuff, uphill, downhill, flat land. Anyway, I'm going to check it out right now. So I'm gonna put it in mode five. Right now I'm going about five miles an hour. I'm gonna throttle, pedal at the same time. And we're gonna see how fast we can get up there. 20 miles per hour, 23, 24, 25, well, 24.9. That's a uh, top speed for me. It has a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery. Charge time is about three to five hours. Comes with a charger that's uh, 43 volts, three amp. Actbest says that the range on this bike is 46 to 65 miles. That's going to vary, like I said earlier, depending on your weight, payload, uh, how much you're using throttle versus just pedaling, uphill, downhill, terrain, all that good stuff. So keep that in mind. Comes with a Shimano seven speed shifter. Tires are pretty short. They're 20 by three inch wide tires. Um, little knobby, so probably okay for some light off-roading. I wouldn't re really recommend that, but it should be okay in a little bit of dirt. This bike is pretty low to the ground being a foldable bike. And uh, the pedal or pedals, depending on which side you're on, the they're pretty low to the ground so if you're making like a right turn it can scrape if you're not careful so I would say if you're making like a sharp right raise that right pedal up put your left foot uh, down so just a quick tip has front and rear disc brakes and uh, front suspension not a lot of throw on those uh, forks but it's there and rear suspension which is a first for me on an on a uh, foldable e-bike so that's nice to have. It's not anything special, but it's nice to know it's there. It does make the ride a bit more comfortable. Uh, as far as foldable e-bikes go, this is pretty unique and I like that. It has an IP4 rating, so you, know, you don't wanna get it too wet, but a little light spray here and there is not gonna hurt it. It can manage riders from five foot four to six foot five, according to uh, Actbest. I know that this seat is really adjustable. You can uh, simply unlock the latch and then pull the seat up and it goes all the way through this, this pipe, this tube right here. And so you can raise it up pretty high, but it, there is a, a little meter on it to show you minimum height and maximum. It can carry people from 330 pounds to 350 pounds. And the bike has a bike rack that can hold up to about 120 pounds. Plus the bike weighs about 64, 65 pounds. So it's not too heavy. We're gonna head up this incline coming up. I don't think there's gonna be any problem for this bike. Yep, just fine. To fold this bike, you just gotta release this latch, 
fold the handlebar over. You can readjust the height of it. If it's too far out, you can release this latch too and lower it back in. And then after you get that done, you release this latch right here and then uh, crack it open, fold it over and uh, you're ready to go. When it's folded up, you can easily tuck it away in a corner somewhere out of the, out of the way. You can uh, put, pick it up, put it in your trunk. I put it in my trunk before. It's uh, pretty easy to do. Some of these bigger, like fat tire bikes, you can't get them on a regular car rack. So keep in mind, when you do get an e-bike, if you plan on transferring it around, um, if you have a bike rack, don't expect that it's just gonna work. Make sure you check the specs and all for weight. So, but yeah, just do your research, check it out before you go getting a bike that you wanna travel around with. That'll be tip number two. Bike doesn't have a bell, but it does have a horn. It's not overly loud or anything, so I don't think you'll annoy anybody using that horn. It has a button here for the lights, which is connected to the front and rear light. So that's good. You don't have to remember to go back to the back of the bike and flip the, the light on and then forget to turn it off when you're done. It's uh, connected to the switch. So the rear 750 brushless uh, gear hub motor, it's pretty nice. It really does kick up and get you going pretty quick. Uh, get in the grass for a little bit, see how it does. Holding up just fine, feels good, feels great. Yeah, this is pretty good. Okay, I just hit a big old puddle of water in the grass. It slid a, just a little bit, but uh, it took it pretty well. So that was fun. This is a great little bike for your neighborhood trails. A weekend ride in the sun, ride in the park, and even on light gravel. It's a lot of good things to having a foldable e-bike, a lot of pluses. They're easy to fold up and put away. They're nice and light that you can throw them in the back of your trunk. They just don't take up a lot of space and they're easy to transport when you wanna take them with you. This one's also kind of neat because it has the front and rear suspension. Even though the suspension isn't like high end or anything, it's, it's nice to know it's there and it does make for a comfortable ride. Akbest makes really rugged bikes. The Z-Cool is also pretty rugged. It tops out at 24, just under 25 miles per hour for me. It has dual suspension, good power. If you're looking for a solid folding e-bike, this is probably the bike for you. Grab yourself one, get out there and ride, and I'll see you on the next one.